You know, one of my favorite watch brands to review on the channel is Casio and G-Shocks. And when Casio recently reached out to me again and asked whether, hey, can we send you a couple more watches to review on the channel? Obviously, I just jumped at the chance. One of the really cool things that I wasn't expecting to receive, and I thought this watch had completely sold out and they weren't available anymore. So I'm not sure if this is a little nod to the fact that this watch might be coming back in stock. I don't have any inside knowledge on that. I certainly wasn't expecting them to send me over one of the ring watches that was caused quite the stir at the start of the year and look at this box it comes in a little tiny ring box I, I mean of course it would but it's still pretty cool to see a Casio box like that I mean compared to a normal Casio box look how small that is it does actually come in a slightly bigger outer box that has some bumpers to reduce the ring size because this watch is a single molded one piece and they've done that through a metal injection molding technique which means that it's one solid piece which will get to one of the things you need to know about that as we get towards the end of the review let's talk about a is it a good watch and then we'll talk about is it a useful ring watch so to start with this is a shrunken down version they say 10 times of that now classic metal g-shock square one that i have owned and love and they've done a lot of little nods to that as well and not only does the case itself look like that watch but the way that they have made the band look as well where they put recessed rivet look in there and the overall design of the watch including the bezel the gray and black bezel with that brick pattern they've done an excellent job of capturing that watch i would say although a miniaturized version of it now there is a lot of tech in here we talked about the metal injection technique that they've used but also they have shrunk down this module they say 10 times but that doesn't mean that they've shrunk down the functionality well with the exception of one functionality but essentially this watch has the time a date display it also has an alarm and it has a secondary time zone and then a stopwatch as well so that actually has about the same features as some of the limited edition square g-shocks that they have now even though it does have an alarm the alarm only pulses with the light there is no sound module in here that will that beeps as you scroll through the settings or that will beep as an alarm there is no sound at all so i'm not sure how useful a flashing alarm will be maybe if you're in a meeting or something and you notice the watch flash then that might try trigger something you let you know something that you need to know an important time so i'm not not totally convinced that the alarm is that useful on this but one of the things that is fantastic you know i've given some of the g-shocks that i've reviewed over the last years some stick for not being that visible at multiple different angles while well, this one is absolutely amazing i'm not sure what lcd module or lcd display that they've used in this one but it's got amazing viewing at almost any angle has put some of those larger g-shocks to shame including that frogman that we reviewed which is probably i don't know how many times bigger than this watch but the viewing angle on this is absolutely spectacular so even though the screen is obviously a lot smaller it is highly highly legible which is something that actually surprised me so we've talked about all of its merits as a watch but one thing to mention because this is an injected molded watch where the band and the case itself are all one piece that means that the module is built front to back so the battery is is one of the last components in or one of the first components that's put into the watch and then it's sealed. So my guessing is because the crystal is glued on that likely that means it's gonna have to go back to Casio to have the battery replaced. Now they do say this has two years worth of battery life, but I can't imagine that this is gonna be user replaceable, this battery. Now let's talk about how useful it is as a ring the watch as i mentioned is one fixed size now there is bumpers to reduce the size of the watch and i think this is one of the most confusing things if you watch other reviews and also on casio's website i clearly haven't got the most manliest lumberjack sausage fingers going on here i've got probably average to smaller than average men's hands i would say my wrist is 7.2 inch uh, so you can sort of factor that in now i'll try and get the u.s ring size for this and show it up here but i really can't get this ring on any finger of mine this i can just about get it on there but it doesn't it allows my finger won't articulate properly with it on 
I can't really get it comfortably on any finger other than my little finger. Obviously, this would fit probably women's hands a lot easier as well, or, or younger people's hands, or perhaps like teenagers' hands. It would probably fit them quite easy. Or if you do have smaller hands than mine, then you're going to have a choice of multiple fingers other than just the the pinky finger. It's clear that this is certainly one for the Casio G-Shock fans because it's, it is a novelty. It's going to bring a huge smile to your face every time that you see it. And they've done an excellent job. It's not that they've made a novelty that is sort of very cheaply made they've actually put a lot of effort into this which is why this is coming in at 120 dollars which that puts it into full full-blown g-shock territory and so factor that in as well now as i mentioned before this was sent in by the team over at casio us so a big thanks to them they only sent me this this week and this watch has been sold out i think for quite a few months so i'm not sure if that's a subtle nod that it might be coming back into stock a big thanks for watching and always let me know in the comments section down below what you think very interested to know what you think about this one and i'll see you next time on casual watch reviews